This video will show you how to do the column method for addition where many of the columns require you to carry a digit onto the next place value column because they total 10 or more. So the first example I'm going to do is 258 add 75. I'm going to write my hundreds, tens and units at the top of this because it is really, really important that I position the 75 correctly. I'm adding a three digit number to a two digit number. And if I was to incorrectly position the 75, that would cause me to get the calculation wrong. So 75 goes here with five in the units column and seven tens. Okay, I add the units first. Eight units and five units is 13 units. So the three can go in the answer space, but the 110 from that 13 can't be put in the answer space yet because there are other tens still to be added. So now I can add together this 110 with the seven, which makes eight tens plus five makes 13 tens. So again, the three can go here, but the 110 needs to go and be added with these hundreds. So two hundreds and this one hundred makes three hundreds. The answer is three hundred and thirty-three. Another example is if I was to add seven hundred and sixty-eight with three hundred and ninety-five. I'll add the eight and the five together first, that makes 13. So again, I've got three to go in the units column. And the one from that 13 waits here to be added with the other tens. The easiest thing to do is add it to the nine straight away to make 10, 10 tens. And six is 16 tens. So the six can go in the answer column but that one needs to be added to the next column. So I've got seven and three, that makes 10 and 11 hundreds. The one then goes slightly out of the answer box in its own column. So the answer is 1,163. If you found this okay, then you should be able to do column addition of any size numbers. The only thing to make sure is that you keep your digits in the correct place value columns. Most errors are made by people incorrectly positioning the, the numbers to be added. If this is a little bit too tricky, then I do have other videos showing you what to do if just one of the columns requires you to carry a digit to the next place value column. Or if that's too tricky, I have a video showing how to do column addition when none of the columns total 10 or more.